The best marketer wins. This phrase was told to me when I first started entrepreneurship and I have heard it throughout the years. Here are my thoughts on it. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. The phrase, the best marketer wins. When that was told to me so many years ago, back in 2010, I heard it and I was like, okay, yeah, the best marketer wins. But I didn't really understand it until a couple years later, maybe like two years later when we started doing online business and getting in the game of making money online, what that actually meant. So I remember we were making some online courses on this website and me and my business partner, Arit, we were so adamant about you know, we've got to film it this way. We've got to make sure that we say everything in here. And we were just like really picky about what to say, how it should look, because we really cared about the outcome of the student. We really wanted to make sure that if a student paid for a course that they weren't going to get gypped or feel scammed or anything like that. So we always want to make sure that we're providing value. Now, how this whole best marketer wins thing came up was I remember speaking to other instructors who were also teaching on this same platform. And I remember one of these instructors gave me access to their course because, you know, I was so intrigued. I think at the time they were doing five figures a month just with these online courses. And at the time, online courses were new. Now it's like everybody has an online course. And I just remember they were making over 10 grand a month. And I was like, how are you doing it? You know, what are your courses like? Can you know, can I get access to one of your courses just to like study you? And so they gave me access to their course. Course, and I started taking it and I started watching it. It wasn't on a particular subject that I was into, but I started watching it and I'm watching it and it's like so basic. There's no editing. There's no animations or cuts or color correction. Even the information was very basic. It wasn't very detailed. And you know, I would, went to my business partner, Reet, and I'm like saying, we do way better quality than this person, but you know, we're barely making anything. At the time, our first goal was to make $1,000 a month on this platform. And this person, no offense, has crappier videos and crappier information, but they are crushing it. What's going on here? And then the phrase, the best marketer wins came into my head. And it all made sense because the person who was doing the 10 plus K a month, even though they had crappier content and courses and videos, they were marketing. They were posting it on social media. They were promoting themselves. They were doing way more marketing than we were. Basically what we were doing was we created the course and we did like a couple posts here and there. This person was blasting it out. They were doing all kinds of stuff to market their courses. And that's another thing is they had multiple courses. We had just this one course and they were a course creating machine. So they were getting way more visibility on the site than we were with our one course. Because if you create multiple courses, on the site that already has traffic, you have a better chance of making more sales. And so it really humbled me. And I was like, hmm, you can't just rely on the talent. You can't just rely on the work, even though you think it's good. Like if you wanna sell something, you wanna make money on something, I do believe the phrase, the best marketer wins. Think of the biggest brands in the world. Why do they sell the most coffee, right, with Starbucks? Why, why do they sell the most burgers, McDonald's? It's because they do so much marketing. And so I really had to take that in and be like, hey, if I want to make sales, I have to learn how to sell and I have to learn how to market my stuff. And that was a pain point for me because I really didn't want to be seen as, you know, the sleazy car salesperson. I didn't want to come off as salesy. Like I had all these things that I didn't want to be perceived as like, oh, she's just trying to sell me. And obviously it's deep rooted in past and childhood and all that kind of stuff. But over the years, I've realized you have to be your biggest fan. 
them. Like you have to be the one saying, hey, here's why you should buy my stuff. It's going to help you do X, Y, Z and actually believe in the product that you were selling. So another issue that I had was the belief that this would actually help the person. I went through several forms of imposter syndrome and should I be teaching this and all that kind of stuff. But over the years, you learn that, yes, you can teach this stuff. You are making money from this. You are good at this. So I just wanted to share that story with you because I recently heard that phrase again the best marketer wins. And when I heard that, I laughed and I was like, yep, that's true. And so my message to you, if you're watching this and you know, you might be struggling with trying to sell something online, sell your products and services, just think about it for a second and be real with yourself. Are you marketing? Like, are you marketing your stuff? And if the answer is no, then you got to learn. You got to learn to work that skill of being able to market yourself. One of the reasons why I like YouTube so much is because it does a lot of marketing and selling for us with all of these videos that we create. By doing all these tutorials that we have on our channel, it shows our expertise, it shows our skill, and at the end of our videos, we do a very light call to action, also known as a CTA, which tells people to go to the description to either get a free training or a link to a course or a link to get coaching from us. And so I didn't have to be this full on salesy car sales person. I found a way of marketing that aligned with me. So that's it for this video. My advice is to get out there. If you've got something, if you've got a product, if you have a store, if you have something to sell, get out there and start marketing yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.